Ja vás tu všetkých pekne vítam. I would like to welcome, welcome you all here. Uh, as I said, the whole idea of green roofs, how to put them forward, it was uh, really in a very beginning two years ago. We were meeting with partners who were interested uh, in this project and I'm very happy that we are here now. I think that this participation of uh, 135 people here is uh, really rich and the topic of green roofs is huge. I think that those who are uh, performing these green roofs can feel that the increase is uh, obvious and also um, we will push the European Union to make the adaptation measures and it is all about what the green roofs are all about. It is primarily the function that uh, makes our lives better and makes our environment better. So let's move on. I'm going to tell you something more about me. It was, I would say that it was by accident I'm in this sector. I, I had a total burnout in 2015. I'm a financial analytics analyst um, and I burned down so I was searching for something or it was a rather um, natural um, natural shift. I started to uh, make gardens. In 2017 uh, it was the first time I heard about green roofs. I uh, started to attend uh, international conferences and uh, get know-how what was it about? And the basic was this, that um, the green roofs uh, are meaningful primarily for the change in the, in the field of uh, climate change. So I decided uh, to go into it. So this is how it started. We have Pavel Dostal from the Czech Association here and he uh, did a lecture in Prague in 2018 about the subsidies and support from the European Union or some international companies. Uh, the guy over there in the blue sweater is me and right after the conference I was totally persuaded that I'm going to, I was going to establish the association but I didn't know what I would be expecting. In 2020, we managed to register our civic association at the Ministry of uh, Interior of the Slovak Republic so that we could uh, start develop our activity. These are our uh, founding members, Mrs. Hanuskova and Mrs. Mirina Lahova from Arbor, who wanted to go into this idea. It was not so simple because uh, my colleague told me after two months we were having discussions. Um, she was like a little bit uh, in a negative mood so I had to uh, talk to her for an hour to uh, make the idea, idea uh, vivid again. So I would like to thank them that they uh, uh, that uh, they are in it with me. Mr. Mikolai uh, is the new uh, vice president of our association, so I'm here all alone uh, as a member of the board, so I, I guess it would be enough. What's our idea? Why we went into it? Slovakia was one of um, the very least, less countries um, which didn't have any organization concerning green roofs. In 2020, we managed to fulfill it, to meet it, and we want the, that uh, the construction would be sustainable, to be more green, uh, and also that the developers can see a potential in the green roofs we have to, or it is necessary, to use our fantasy and think what can be done. The potential is also concerning the business. Our main activity is also um, 
an awareness about green facades, green roofs, also promoting changes so that the green roofs um, can be more simple and also more simple for developers um, not to deal with, to avoid dealing with uh, authorities and also to be motivated by the state so, so that those who are interested in the green roof uh, have it more more ideal and simpler. We also emitted um, standards uh, for the green roofs. Uh, we have it uh, translated, you have it in your pocket and they can be downloaded on our website. In 2021, we became members of the European Associations for Green Roofs. That includes all the associations in the Europe. As you can see, we were, we were like a gray mouse within the central Europe because we didn't have any. I greet Dusty, who is going to speak after me. I think that you can look forward to to him. So these are the standards I was I was mentioning. My colleague will talk about it, about the composition of green roof standards, how to use them, etc. Throughout the two years we managed um, some interesting cooperations uh, with the um, office of the president where we provided some green some technical uh, uh, measures. Uh, we have some narrow re relationships, close relationships with uh, the Ministry of the Environment, uh, who put the shelter over our conference. We also dealt with new airships, also with the Czech Association for Green Roofs, the architect chamber where we will provide uh, information about our lectures and uh, trainings. So we are still moving forward. Um, so the interconnection is very important because if we are all alone, it's not so good. So please uh, have discussions, have connections, try to find solutions and use common sense and it is very important to make things simply simple so that Slovakia is moving forward and is is greener and more resilient this is one of our greatest um, successes throughout two years we were awarded as the national winner of the European Enterprise Promotion Award category uh, in terms of a sustainability where our association uh, had the first place as the winner and it was um, sheltered by the European Commission and the award will be uh, handled out uh, at the end of uh, December in Prague. So I think that it's a quite a great success for such a short time. Currently, our association has about 27 members. It's been changing for the past weeks. So if you are interested in being the member, as we are the, uh, the member of uh, the European Association, we can get know-how from this uh, European Association. There are some conferences being organized, so you can register in online, so it's free to use it. I also want to thank our partners. We are very grateful that it, this happened and that the partners provided us with uh, finances to this conference and uh, it is obvious that this topic has potential and is interesting. Now if I want to please you or ask you, please close your eyes just for a moment. I can see you. And try to figure out Slovakia in 2050, how it will look like. 
in terms of these climate challenges and phenomena as we can feel them more and more. You'll be 30 years older, about 70, 80. <laughs> Our children will be adults. What environment we will create them? Are we going to help them with all these phenomena we are going through, or will they even survive worse? Everybody has an option to put it forward, whether in terms of an awareness or interconnecting or moving practical things on. Please try to feel it now, and based on it, let's do the things uh, to the, for the future. Thank you very much for your attention.